Hello YouTube. So you have gotten your uh, RK 1UP Street Fighter box and you saw ETA Prime's video and you took you took on the project, kick butt with it, got this thing modded and ready to rock and roll. Mm, not quite. Uh, let's take a look at what it typically looks like when you're done modding it. So you got this fancy new arcade box and and um, you boot it up and you get all this stuff. All this stuff. Text on the screen before the logo. Logo that's what's a retro pie. Nobody knows what that is, right? It comes over. Then you got this uh, emulation station. It's loading. Then you got some more text. You know, it's just, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. A few seconds in, and you're finally into the, to the box. So, today we're going to just get this box to come up a lot cleaner. And make it look more like an arcade box versus a computer that happens to be in an arcade cabinet. Stay tuned. Okay, so to get our boot up clean, we, we're going to need to do a couple of things. And I have created a text file that will make this very simple for you. Let me just balance this a little bit. All right. So I have this steps to remove text from Pi Boot. You look at this file. It's pretty detailed. Okay, so get to the top. All right, so it's pretty detailed. There's three files that we're going to edit the Pam login file, the, the Pam Damon login file, the auto start file, and the command line dot text. Okay, so, and, and really these are really backwards from the way you see it on the screen. So, when you, when you first boot up the computer, the command line stuff is all the things that you see that uh, puts all that text on the screen. Then this auto start is going to get rid of that so then you will see your custom graphic or the graphic is built in and then this file here will make the uh, emulation station uh, logo disappear and then this login what we do to this file is going to alter what happens after the uh, emulation station file uh, graphic is shown or not shown just before the actual arcade system gets to the, the, the final menu this uh, login is what controls what's seen on that screen so we're gonna turn those things off so you don't have to see them anymore okay so this PAM configuration basically is doing some things when you log on and it's displaying that information on the screen okay so what we have to do in a nutshell is uh, whenever you have a code uh, files that have lines of code in it Whenever you see a pound sign, that means that's a remark. So that means that the code will not process whatever comes after that pound sign. And so if you see a pound sign, that means that's a uh, remark or a note just for whoever's reading that file. Uh, and, it's, and the code is told to ignore anything after that. So you see in this example here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look through this file and look for instances where you see the word prince the last you know print something so it's got these two uh lines that are rimmed out so those are just remarks and then you have this command session op optional blah 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 okay so in our example this is how it looks before and this is how we want to look afterwards we're going to put a pound sign there so it ignores that command okay so in order to get into that file to do so you have to run this command here 
sudo nano and then the, name, the path and the name of the file. So sudo just gives you the uh, super user rights uh, and then nano is just a editor, sort of like a notepad on your computer. Okay, so we're going to launch that. So in order to do that, you can do this one of two ways. You can either use a program like Putty that SSH just over into that uh, into your machine, or you can hit F4 on your keyboard if you have a keyboard attached to your arcade and do all this on the screen. Okay, but if you have this text file and you uh, are on the computer using Putty, then you can just copy and paste. All right, so we're going to launch Putty and we're going to connect over to the arcade. All right, it's going to ask us for our login. The default is Pi for the username, and you can't see anything in there. Let me just straighten this up. All right, Pi and then Raspberry. Uh, I didn't spell it right. Okay, so now we have our login. And so you're going to have the text file, so I don't have to be so zoomed in. Let me stop. All right, well, since we have our text file here we can just copy and paste this over there so we highlight this copy it over here right click oh I didn't do it oh I copy something by mistake all right copy this control C and control oh my god what is going on here right click all right right click paces all right, so we launch our program. So again, what we're looking for is any instance where we see the word print, and we're going to rim out the command that follows that remark section. So we're scrolling down. And here's the first one right here it says print the last login info so we're going to get right here on session and just, just insert a pound that's it and you see the next section has a print there so we're going to find these two items and put pounds uh oh make sure you shift pound and pound if you put any other char character other than the pound sign by mistake you will get more text on the screen because then you have an error because it will interpret it as code and try to execute it all right so i believe we did four of those and now we're going to do control x yes to set and enter to save the file all right so now that file is complete now if we reboot it we will see that we don't have any text after the um, the screen after the uh, ES logo is shown all right so now we're going to do the next file the next file is called auto start and that's pretty self-explanatory is when you boot up it's going to automatically start whatever is in this shell or script all right so my text looked like this at one point in time and I changed it to simply this you can see here it was launching the emulation station and now I'm appending that line so that it has no splash will come up automatically alright so we're just gonna copy this sudo command up here and right click over here paste that hit enter and you see all my co no you can't see because my all right all it has in this line is emulation station that's what it's going to do it's, it's launching that and so now i just want to go to the end of it and type in 
Uh oh, I'm at the beginning. You see that green cursor? Let's get that to the end. Space. And, uh, dash, no. Space, splash. And let's just look. I could have get. I could have just pasted that in. No dash splash space pound auto. And I gotta spell that right. And I gotta still spell it right. All right, there you go. Gotta spell it right. So it's better just to copy and paste. All right, we're gonna save that. Yes. Enter. That's done. Okay, the last file, the command line.txt, we copy this command and we'll paste it in. This one's going to be, oh, that's not it. Didn't copy it. Copy. All right. So this one's going to be a, a little tricky in that you, you don't want to put any extra characters in, in in between anything you don't want to change anything you don't supposed to so all you're going to do is scroll over till you see this tty one and change that one to a three so i'll just go past it backspace type of three i'm good okay you can copy and paste the stuff on the end here but it'll get a little tricky but just go to the very end of that line and type in what it says here. Uh, we are typing this thing here. Disable. I'm just going to copy this. Disable auto dither. That's for something to do with the speaker. Copy that. Logo no logo. Logo dot no logo space disable splash underscore one. Or equal one. I'm sorry. So I'm going to make this a little longer so you can see what's being added. All right, so I'm going to right-click in here, and there you go. So I copy that in there, disable underscore auto underscore dither equals one space logo dot no logo space disable underscore splash equals one. I'm going to save that, control X, yes, enter, and now that is done so the thing will boot up with no text or logo but it's still gonna have that wacky graphic we want something sweeter this is street fighter um cab right so we have in the if you follow my link you can get this text file this launch launching screen and the video the intro video okay along with that text file so we're gonna connect now if, if you have if you've never connected to your raspberry pi it's pretty simple if you go into your uh file explorer where your my computer just click up there so it highlights it and just type in backslash backslash retro pi it can be lowercase or uppercase doesn't matter and just hit enter and you'll go you're literally looking at what's over on the sd card in the in your arcade box okay there's four directories here the first one we're going to deal with is called splash screens they came with the, with their own all you do need to do is take this street fighter one and click and drag it over to this folder okay i'll take a few seconds That'll give you a new screensaver or a splash screen. And now we'll back up. Now if we go into config, is it? Configs, arcade. We This is where our launch screen, uh, the logo that you see, you can see at the lower left of the screen whenever you load up a game it says arcade loading we are going to we're going to rename this so we don't lose this one so we'll we right click on it and say rename or we could have just touched it lightly and it would highlight like this as well we're going to call this dash 
O-R-G for original. That's the original art. Eh. So that's what it looks like. So we renamed that. And now up here, if you unzip the file, I gave you a download the file, however I provided. Now you can just drag that over here. And now you have a new launching file. We're going to back up to configs and then go and find Neo Geo because that's definitely one that we have on here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll rename that, lightly touch it, just highlight it, click past it, dash ORG. And then we'll drag this file over here as well. And I may have some F, some, uh, whatever this thing is called, I can't even think right now. Anyway, um, we'll, du we'll double click on the thing, you'll see what it's called. Final Burn Alpha. Uh, so I will just save that one as original as well. And drag this thing in there. So we just have it personalized for our one arcade. Because we're not just a, any old retro pie box, right? We're special. All right. So now we have our new loading graphic and our video for launch. All right. So we can close all this. We're all done here. We can I believe we can say exit. All right. And our text file, just close that up. So we're all done on the computer. Let's go back to the arcade. Okay, so we gotta do one thing before we can get our new video at the launch uh, intro, introduction video. We're gonna exit out of this demo or screensaver. And we're gonna hit the player one button to bring up our main menu. And actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna back out of, out of there. We're gonna go to RetroPie. Can you see that, can you? Let's turn this slightly. Oh, well, you know what RetroPie looks like. There's RetroPie. Whoa. Oh, we zoomed in. That's the problem. Didn't have to move. All right. So we're going to go to RetroPie. Launch that. And we're going to go down to launching screens. No. We're going to go down to splash screens. Go to splash screens, hit the A button. And it's gonna give us the option to choose our splash screen. So we're gonna say, okay there. And then we're gonna pick number two, choose our own. Own extra sp splash screens. Okay, we hit okay. And now we see that Street Fighter V video that we put there. So we just hit okay or A button. And it's been set to that. Hit OK. Just move over to the right to cancel. Hit OK. And now we're done with that. All right. So now we're ready to test and see if all our changes took effect. So we're going to back up out of here. Hit the menu button. Go down to quit. Hit the A button. And now we're going to restart the system. Yes, we really want to restart uh, I guess I gotta hit the yes we really do okay so we saw the text on the restart but we shouldn't see that anymore so we got our little bright screen there's no text there that's good good it's working working the way it should um, now we should see our intro video I'm gonna turn that down just for copyright turn it off That don't that look much better than something else? This is the Street Fighter cab. It should, it should you should get all riled up before you get going here. So I'm gonna turn the music back on. We should be just about done. And we launched automatically into our. Now your arcade looks like a professional arcade machine. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment below and like the video. Until next time, I'll see you on the web.